I feel like every time I try to come and give a garden update, the weather is the most gloomiest and it's the most gray. Welcome to another garden update. I do have some things that I need to do today and I kind of want to show you the garden area and whatnot. But before we do that, let me show you how we got the garden area to the point it is first a very cloudy and gloomy day here in louisiana but i'm going to take you over into the garden and give you a little update i put all of these plants in the ground probably i want to say three or four days ago and everything is looking good for the most part except i'm having a little trouble in my pepper bed these are all my peppers but if you come closely and you look at my jalapeno plants they look like they are going to die. So I have three jalapeno plants right here. One, two, three. And the two right here, I'm sorry, it's super windy. Hopefully that's not affecting the audio too much. Sig, what are you doing? The three jalapeno plants, this one's doing fine. It seems to, you know, be looking healthy, but I'm not sure what's happening with these two plants. And also, if you look over here, this is a um, this is a cayenne pepper plant that is also struggling, but I have two more cayennes over here that seem to be doing fine. So I'm not sure what's happening with these. I don't know if part of the problem is that I over planted in this bed. It doesn't look like it. Well, I need to go to my local plant nursery today anyway. Um, I want to get more flowers. It's going to be bad weather all day today. It's super windy right now and it's supposed to rain here in a few hours so i think i might save going to the local plant nursery tomorrow ah! i was expecting this to come in later in the week but it just came in today <laughs> and i already decided i wasn't going to go to my local plant nursery but depending on if this is what i think it is i might revise that decision <gasps> This is my great plant. And then also I got my tomato alive fertilizer, which you better, listen, you better make my tomatoes the best tomatoes ever, okay? No, no pressure, but also all the pressure. Okay, come with me as I tell my husband I wanna to go to Clegg's. And he's, he's, my guess is he's gonna be like, right now? Are you sure? We can go tomorrow. You want to go today? I thought you want to go tomorrow. I'll go on a little bit. This is everything we got from Clegg's. Right here we have two Shasta daisies. And I was actually looking for these the other day when I went to get flowers. And I didn't see any. That's why I got those white flowers that I have planted over there. Because they kind of look like daisies. So I was so excited to see these. I went ahead and got two. And then I got some zinnias well just one and then these are zesty orange zinnias and well i guess i got three zinnias and zesty pink zinnias and i got some more jalapenos and bell peppers and then the pots the fertilizer the soil and some more trellises i'm trying to decide where i want to put the grapes i have this chicken wire right here that I think I want them to vine up on, but I don't know where I want them to grow. They need to be in full sun. And I was originally thinking right here in this area, but this doesn't get full sun. I'm trying to decide where I want to plant them. I'm thinking maybe in between here, my peach trees. I think that might be a good spot. I don't know, let's see. I know I said that I was gonna wait until tomorrow to plant these, but I'm too excited. I wanna see them in the container now. I'm so, like, I wanna see them out there now. I can't wait. And I have nothing else to do right now anyway. And the weather is kind of bad. It is sprinkling outside, but we have this carport area that I can just work under here. So I'm going to go ahead and get these flowers potted up. This is my first year planting flowers and I know that sounds kind of crazy because I had a garden last year but I think that was one of the bigger mistakes that I made is I didn't have flowers over in my garden area. I had them on another part of the house but I don't think I attracted enough pollinators over in my garden so that's something I'm trying to change this year. So hopefully I get a lot of good blooming flowers and daisies are one of my favorite flowers. They're just so beautiful so I can't wait 
to have this planted. This is not a snack, sir. It looks so good. This is what we're working with so far. I kind of wanted some flowers all in between the containers to, you know, attract the pollinators. It's supposed to rain, but it's been supposing to rain for the past five hours. It's definitely cloudy and it's been sprinkling, but it hasn't fully rained yet. I want to plant water the flowers in, but if it's going to rain, I don't necessarily want to water them now. So I think I'm going to wait another hour before I water them. And then also in the meantime, I think I'm going to fill up some containers with some soil and put them where I want them just so I have a better idea of what the layout is gonna look like. out here I think I'm just gonna go ahead and plant my tomatoes as well this is some leftover eggshells that I got last year from a friend a family friend who has her own chickens and she would sell the eggs and I would bake them for a little bit crush them up grind them save them and I think I'm gonna sprinkle that in the soil as well what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to add the eggshells to two of the containers and then add just the egg when I plant the tomato in the other two of the containers to see which one works best through the growing season. So I have that in mind what the best method for me is. news is I got this trellis trellis I got this trellis when I went and picked everything up I thought it was a stack of four trellises I was like perfect picked it up one two three four four trellises no it's one trellis I think unless I can't get it out I think it's just one oh One day, my brain will work. <laughs> Today, not that day. This is good though. Better news than I thought it was. <laughs> it is actually four trellises. just looked at the weather forecast and it said there's another 30 percent chance for the next two hours so i think i'm just gonna water it in a little bit not like over water them or anything but i don't know if it's gonna rain it might just pass over so i'm gonna water it right now <laughs> to get more trees though i think i want a lemon tree and a cherry tree and last year i had some a few blueberry bushes i had three blueberry bushes but they all died <laughs> and i'm thinking about maybe wanting more but i think i'm going to just have this for now i'm going to stop adding everything until i get my onions and potatoes planted and then i might look into different things but i'm pretty satisfied with how everything is looking at the moment we are currently back at our local nursery because <laughs> I need more plants. I need more. I think I want to get a citrus tree. I originally was thinking 
maybe getting a lemon tree but now I'm kind of thinking maybe I'll get a lime tree instead because I'm thinking like I use limes more in cooking than I do lemons but I also at the same time use a lot of lemons for like water at the same time I wish that you knew the age of the tree like I wish I knew how old the lemon trees were and like at what point they'll start producing because I feel like the trees they have over there are young and I probably won't get anything this year if I buy them which is fine I mean there's always next year you know kind of like with my first peach tree I got also while we're thinking about the area that's like right now super weeded out we're thinking about clearing it we are definitely going to clear it but we're also thinking about maybe putting some limestone over it and I think that will just make it look better I do like it It'll just make it look nice and neat and that way hopefully stop all the weeds from growing back because it seems like every year they grow back, they grow back with a vengeance. So we're trying to prevent that and just make it look nicer. I also am thinking that I need more flowers. I need something that grows a bunch of flowers. These are really pretty. Um, just to attract more pollinators. That's my goal for this year, to attract more pollinators. Oh, these are pretty. What are these? <sighs> knockout, double pink knockouts. My husband is over there clearing out all of those weeds. Thank goodness it needed to be done desperately. And hopefully by the end of today, everything looks gorgeous. This is everything that I got from Clegg's and my cat is being super adorable. I ended up getting a lime tree instead of a lemon tree, but honestly, I still might go back and get a lemon tree because I just, I love them both. And I know they have these hybrids of lemon lime trees and I actually looked online to try to buy one. They don't sell them in my state or they can't get shipped to Louisiana. I don't know why, but I couldn't find one that I could buy or get shipped here anyway. So I got this lime tree. I also got this beautiful pink double knockout. It has so many- <laughs> Girl, what are, what are you barking at? Are you barking at this? the dirty leaf get it okay well anyway as i was saying this has so many buds on it and it's gonna bloom to look like this and it's such a beautiful pink color she's so scared of it girl it's not alive it's just literally a crumbled up stick that's nova she's not the smartest of all the bunch but we love her anyway beautiful fern plant it is a fern australian tree and it is gorgeous i love it so much i love ferns i think they just look so cool <laughs> she did it. why are you so scared of it nova it's just a dried up stick here and these flowers are so beautiful. The camera doesn't do it justice. The color of the red that they are, what? They are a beautiful shade of red and I cannot wait to get it over there. That's why I keep saying about all these plants. Can't wait to get it over there. So what I'm going to do is I also got some more pots and some more soil. I'm going to, ha I'm going to go ahead and get these potted. So I've been waiting on my onions and potatoes to come in the mail so I can go ahead and get them in the grounds. These are the onions right here. We have the little bulbs and for some reason I thought they were going to be from seed that's just my own mistake i don't know much about planting from the bulb here are the potatoes and i'm gonna be honest this bag of potatoes which is 
the Yukon Gold is probably the best looking bag that I have. Only a few of them have eyes on them and some of them don't even look like they're ready to be planted. Like this bag of rusted potatoes, they don't even look like they're ready to be planted at all. Like they still need a few weeks to grow eyes. And then this is a bag of the red and they had a bunch of eyes growing on them but they all ripped off in shipping because they got stuck in this bag kind of like this how this one's stuck in the bag and if i try to remove it it'll probably fall off like all the other ones so i don't know if that means i can plant these or not so if i'm honest i'm not loving this purchasing of potatoes i know my local plant nursery usually has potato seeds out and i grew those last year and they did pretty good i harvested them way too early though last year so i don't know i'm gonna have to do some research on the potatoes before i plant them i know potatoes are one of those things that you can kind of plant anytime during the spring season so we should be fine there even if i have to wait a few weeks but i do want to get the onions in the ground today but before we do that let me go ahead and show you my garden area this is a quick overview of everything ta-da i'm loving the way it's looking right now i'll just quickly explain what everything is i know there's probably multiple points throughout this video where i'm telling you what everything is so let's just say that this is a beautiful fern we have a flower bush a little flower tree my lime tree my two peach trees and in between my peach tree i do have a grape plant that isn't currently growing on it right now i'm thinking that it's probably still dormant and then this is my pepper bed with a bunch of different varieties which is looking good there are some plants that have a little discoloration on them and some plants don't even look like they've grown at all i think i need to boost this bed with some fertilizer we have my strawberries which i actually did get a few strawberries off this the other day they're starting to grow and ripen and change colors we got a bunch over here so that's fun and exciting we have my four tomato plants which right now are looking good interesting enough you know in the beginning of this video where i said i was doing an experiment <laughs> um on how the tomatoes grow better with the egg or with just the shells and these two seem to be doing the best and these are the ones with just egg shells while these two with the egg when i planted with the egg are looking good these two look better though, but maybe the egg will like give it a boost later in the season. To where my Shasta daisies are, I don't know what's happening. This Shasta daisy I think is just going to die. I don't know why. This one has some buds on it and it's definitely looking better than the other one. So maybe I'll be able to keep one Shasta daisy. I'm not quite sure what's happening there. We have my cucumber plant that was just growing kind of like this, but cucumbers are a vining plant, so I'm trying to get it to start growing up this wooden stick. This is my squash plant, which if you can see, it looks like there's one little squash starting to come through, which is so exciting. I can't wait to have these fresh vegetables. Same thing with my zucchini. There's some, um, it looks like you have some female flowers coming up through them and they're looking nice and full. Same thing over here. The zucchinis are growing and taking off like crazy, which I can't wait. I can't wait for a fresh zucchini. And then these two beds is where I want to put my onions and probably plant some more carrots because I did sprinkle in some carrots in my pepper bed but they're not really growing like I thought they would. So I do want to have some carrots and then I have these extra bags that once I'm ready to plant the potatoes, I'm going to plant them in there. I hope that footage even looked good. I wasn't even looking at the little lens, so fingers crossed there. Um, I do have some liquid fertilizer that I need to get planted in there, but I did water everything yesterday and I think it's supposed to rain later today. Who knows? Down here, it may or may not rain. Um, but I might do the liquid fertilizer tomorrow. And I'm going to get my onions in the ground today. 
And that's all the update I have for you guys. And once you get everything in the ground and planted, the growing season gets a little slow. Really at this point, I'm just watering and watching out for like pests or any weird leaf changes in colors. Um, but right now we're just waiting. We're in the waiting game for now. This is my garden. Everything is looking good, except the questionable coloring on my pepper bed. I think they just need fertilizer though. So thank you for watching. If you have any suggestions or any tips that I could use to improve my garden, please leave them down below. This is only my second year, technically third year growing. So I'm open to any and all advice. Are you growing a garden? What are you growing in your garden? Are you doing container growing or are you doing raised beds? Maybe you're more advanced than I am and you're growing straight in the ground. Maybe one year I'll get there, but for now I'm loving my containers like I'm loving you, girl. <gasps> Bye.